Hi everyone, today I will be talking to you uh, just a quick uh, video about supplies. So the supplies are almost all the same for all the patterns. So I'm going to post this video with the supplies and explaining all the supplies that I use. And then uh, on my videos, I will not talk to, the, uh, to you uh, again about them because this is uh, done all the time. Uh, except, of course, if there's a specific pattern in which we need some metal accessories, probably I will talk about it, but the main supplies I won't. So what we have here? I have uh, an example, this is a cone that I have with polyester thread. This is uh, what I use on my machine and on my straight stitch machine I also use polyester uh, threads. Uh, then we, we uh, always use some clips to secure the pattern to the, to the fabric, to cuts and also sometimes for the straps, to attach the straps to the pattern, to the main fabric, etc. Pins, this is something that you always need and of course a needle uh, to sew some areas that we will need to sew by hand. This, I think it's a hand picker, I don't know the name in English, but uh, this is when you do something wrong and then you have to uh, cut your threads, so this is also very useful. Then I have a small scissor, a big scissor and my roller. This I use to cut uh, all my threads when I'm working on the table. Uh, I don't actually cut fabric with scissors, so I use this scissor for my pattern, for my paper cut. So if you use the scissor for the paper, you must have a different scissor for the fabric. And this is how I cut my fabric, always with my cutter. This is the way I prefer and you can change the blades and it's very, very good. It's very sharp, but it's very good. Then I use rubber elastic, 6 mm rubber elastic. Um, it's, this is very good. Uh, I use uh, 8 mm seam allowances or on our newest uh, designs. So we will always cut a little bit and the rest uh, we will use on the seam allowance for the elastic. So a lot of rubber elastic. Then uh, I use this uh, ruler that I love. Uh, not all. Uh, it's not supposed to cut with this because with your with your this I don't uh, she's up I don't know the name in English sorry I must study this but with this usually you cut your ruler so when you want to cut usually you should use an iron uh, ruler and with this you are sure that you can cut and never ruin your rulers so this is why I have this one but I also use this a lot then I also have this big ruler with the parallel um, lines uh, horizontally and vertically and this is very good also when you are designing something, um, it's very useful. Then uh, of course tape to, cut, to glue, to tape all your uh, pattern pieces together, paper pattern pieces together. And then the fabrics, uh, well the fabrics, I can do an entire video about fabrics. Uh, uh, it depends sometimes when I'm doing a non-reversible, I do it differently from a reversible. Um, but I'm leaning towards non-reversible late, lately. Um, I, I will ex explain to you this uh, later on on a, on a video. But uh, if we are doing a reversible piece, we must be sure to have two fabrics that we love we have to choose one main fabric and the self fabric, the lining. So fabrics, we need to have fabrics. And then of course, if we have uh, clasps, imagine this is a plastic one with one centimeter. It's very difficult for me here in Portugal to find pieces like this. So sometimes you will see me just pinning in or tying a small knot instead of doing the, using this because I don't have that many and uh, we don't find here available measure measures that I need so it's quite hard. Uh, sometimes you uh, use strap adjusters it's uh, rarely that I use this because this is very thin this is for bra making and uh, my, my strap uses elastic so usually this is too thin to place my um, my straps so usually I tend not to use this to uh, 
my, to, to put them on my straps. You also have rings with different sizes. I use this a lot. And I also bought this with different colors. It's all so rings and strap adjusters. And of course you can ha have more rings or other pieces. Please take into consideration that these pieces um, must be uh, for swimwear or you will have a problem after using your swimsuit. And I think that's it. I'm going to show you my machines now so you will see how I, uh, which machines I use. And uh, it will be, oh, of course, I was forgetting, my loop turner. This is an old loop turner. Uh, so uh, it's missing a small part here. So it's a bit harder for me to uh, reverse the straps, but it's the one I have. So a loop turner to reverse your thin straps to the right side. Sometimes when I'm designing patterns, I also use some rulers that I have that have curves. I have a lot of them. So this is an example of one of them. Now let's go over to the sewing machines. So this is, this is my overlock. It's a Bernet B48. Uh, it's, it has a cover stitch uh, here, uh, which I never use. I'm, I know I should, but I never use. Um, so I have the cover stitch and I also have uh, my overlock stitches, so the four of them. I have the two needles over there. This is a very good machine because you can uh, regulate lots of things. I, this is how I have my my threads, the tension of uh, my different threads, so my left needle, my right needle, and then uh, both uh, underneath um, the, the stitch and then uh, I can regulate also here the foot pressure and I also have other regulations there and my um, my cutter and my the size of my stitch so the width so I have lots of things that I can use and I really love it this is the overlock this one is the straight stitch machine it's also a Bernet uh, B38 uh, she's digital but uh, it's fine if she wasn't, but I like it. So this is the speed regulator. So you can adjust the speed if you need to. Uh, it cuts automatically. You can sew with two needles. This is for the needle to end up um, up instead of down on the fabric because every time you stop on this machine, the needle always stays down. So if you want it up, you put it here. This is the tension. Uh, it's very easy to, to put your, uh, I don't know the name in English for this, but you know the ones that have the threads uh, that we put underneath there. I don't know the name, sorry. So you can see it over the tra this transparent thing, which is very nice. It comes with some accessories that I also uh, uh, have here. Some uh, extra foot. Um, this is for the buttons, but I have more. So it's quite nice. Um, also, of course, you can use the pressure. You can adjust the pressure. Uh, you also have uh, the back stitch here. Let me see, show you the back stitch. A stitch where the needle doesn't leave the place. So you have a lot of options. Uh, you have many stitches also here, over here. And it comes with a menu if you don't remember the stitches. And you can adjust the length and the width of the stitches. It does um, casing for the buttons automatically. So it's also quite nice. I really love it for the bikinis. I only use the zigzag stitch or the elast elastic stitch. Uh, that the, Those are the only ones that I use. I know that this machine also does overlock, but since I have the other one, I never use this one for the overlock. I always use my B48. This is it guys, I hope you enjoyed my video, please don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel if you think you will be interested in seeing some other videos and see you soon!